Greetings and salutations, Tube Dwellers. I'm your host, the Mad Guru. Oh, what is this? I swear I changed that name. That definitely shouldn't be there. That's not right. Uh, looks like a new season started. I'm not ranked. Man, I have not been playing any StarCraft lately. I think I'm going to continue to not play very much StarCraft, if any at all. And instead, cast a little bit more professional SC2. So this is from an ESL tournament. Uh, ESL is a German tournament that I believe happens weekly, and uh, a lot of times you see a lot of no-name and smaller name uh, guys in it, but normally the finals of these weekly tournaments do end up being, uh, you know, just a little block of six or eight pros battling against each other. Uh, and I went and downloaded the playoffs of the uh, 2013 summer. I believe this happened in August, however, I think it was a patch back. Can I? Oh, hold on. It may be a couple patches back. I actually can't do the zoom out tricks, so that tells you about how old the replay is. It's not terribly old. I think the strategies and everything will be uh, valid. However, the replay, not brand new. The two players in this match are going to be, uh, and you'll have to forgive me for a little bit of unfamiliarity, um, in the top left corner, of course, is Delphi. The Red Zerg player, he is a German, I believe he originates from German. I'm pretty sure he's living in Germany, so uh, at least to that degree I will call him German. And uh, this is where you have to forgive me, the, the lack of familiarity here. I don't know what team he's on right now. Um, I tried to look this tournament as a whole up on Liquipedia, and it didn't have this exact iteration that showed this exact bracket and whatnot. It's weird because it showed a lot of the other brackets. So uh, I don't know the most about exactly... Honestly, I don't even know who wins this tournament. I know that all of these games are best of fives. So this, this match between Delphi and uh, his blue Protoss player, Hasuobs, another German player. Uh, this will be a best of five. And we'll see which of them progresses and maybe be able to piece together with the other matches uh, who the tournament actually goes to. These are all playoff games. Though, I'm not sure if they're in the winner's or the loser's bracket. And who knows? If this is like the uh, semifinals, maybe it's, it's the merging point. Where the champion of the losers comes up to fight the champion of the winners. So, Protoss opening in his main. Maybe a gateway first, with the Cybercore falling right up. Two gas. And it looks like the Zerg, upon scouting this out, and he has seen that the Protoss is here and that there's no base yet, uh, is going to get an early gas. It looks like this was gas a little bit after pool, so it's not anything like uh, the earliest of gases. But, oh, and check this out. The drone gets to reverse rolls. Instead, he's going to block the probe from putting a Nexus down. And it does take two probes. Angering, angrily enough to uh, kill one drone. The one drone's regeneration works a little bit better than the shield regeneration. Oh, or a, a probe and a zealot. A probe and a zealot does it too. Oh, but the zealot can't catch the drone. Never mind when the micro of that drone is Delphi. And a probe and a zealot very nearly can't do it. Mothership cores out. You hear all kinds of weird sounds happening. Marking the coming of the mothership. Now some zerglings are out on the map too. Double Queen, it looks like this drone count's staying kind of low. Nope, just as I say that, more in the cooker. Twilight Council, this is quick. His immediate follow-up after Gateway, and then Nexus, is the Twilight Council. Does that sound really loud to you? That actually kind of sounds loud to me. I'm not sure. Maybe it is just my headset. And maybe a previous patch resets some of my settings. Who knows? Hasu. You're gonna lose a pylon, dude. What are you gonna do about this? Mothership core begins. He's gonna move in at the last second. And keep his pylon from going down. Just a little suspense. Was there a reason for the suspense? Wow, actually, look at what he did there. He put a pylon... He kept them there just long enough to put a pylon behind his wall so that if there were more Zerglings here than he was seeing, and if speed just finished, the Zerg wouldn't be able to run by and, and get in. Wow, really smart. And look, 
That's something similar to what uh, Delphi's plan may have been. The Lings were a little bit later, though. Uh, and we do see... I almost don't want to spoil it. I just want to see what happens. Little skirmish pushed off at the front, but we do see a dark shrine. I don't think... Uh, I saw this overlord moving around, actually. Nah, see? It poked up there a little bit, but... Just to see the gases at the natural, I bet. And there are none. So this dark shrine should be a complete surprise. However, this proxy pylon is definitely... Oh, Delphi's got to know something now. He sees a second proxy pylon being dropped by a probe that's getting attacked. That is a desperation pylon. That's like a I-need-the-pylon-up kind of pylon. And I should tell Delphi, seeing all these, that there is a... Uh, dire need for pylons to finish with speed the stalker's got to be careful pushing across the map the dark templar are forced to warp in at the main it's four dark templar with the mothership core the stalker may live no the stalker will go down there's quite a few zerglings here still i wonder if delphi saw the dark templar leaving the front standing at the front just a zealot no cannon Delphi's got to be able to guess that there's something going on. There are roaches here. Surely Delphi knows at this point. And if he doesn't, he just got the warning. Your base is under attack! Matter of fact... Okay. A spore crawler is coming up. It's going to say, uh... For a second, Hasuabs looked to just focus the hatchery. He will get the, uh, the next spore. Is he going to get both of these spores as well? Oh my god. Does he know the timing? There's a spore back there still. I think he's going to get that spore before it finishes. Oh man. Hoswabs is getting in all over the place. He's still got a DT at the natural. There's a DT coming in at the third. This spore crawler should finish. Though he'd lose a lot of drones, he could use just drones to defend that. It looks like uh, Delphi means to pressure and, and try to get something done on the other side of the map. I'm not sure this lair is ever going to complete, though. Oh, the damage is huge. Damage on all fronts. The Zerg now barely losing the push outside Hasu's base at the front. Delphi's forced to GG. We've got a quickie that just goes straight to a uh, fast little Dark Templar play. <laughs> so, uh, as you can tell now, I don't preview the games I, I cast. Let me give you uh, a full range of experience. Let me give you the experience of the meh with the awesome. There's a bit of a meh game. This is a best of five, though, so we get chances to see these two deck it out again. Uh, I wonder if Hasu is going to do something similar. I wonder if uh, Delphi will look a little bit more diligently for it. At least we get to take that little bit of interest. Bring up a couple stats here to artificially elongate the end of this match. <laughs> uh, units killed. Uh, quite a few, says Hasuabs. 12 workers. That's actually not the most workers killed. Delphi had 37. The worker count wasn't uh, in a an unwinnable deficit, but the base count was... <laughs> Oh, man. They're all over here. Clamoring. I think maybe if Delphi would have kept these on defense, he could have kept the damage just low enough. Even reactionary. Even not having seen it and been able to get anything up in advance. Um, I think if he would have just had the defenses around, then maybe he could have gotten one spore crawler finished up here, you know? I don't know. Very close. Not fast enough. Thanks for watching, everybody. That'll be... The end of game one in a best of three between Hasuabs and Delphi. From the ESL, uh, I think sometime in August 2013. It must have been the beginning of August, because it was like August 8th when that Zoom patch came out, I think. Yeah. Okay, thanks for watching. See you later!